video tutorial on the sequence of tenses. Every day we are talking, arguing, discussing, writing, and giving speeches that will later be talked about. During the Gettysburg Address in 1863, Abraham Lincoln said, The world will not remember what we say here. It did, and that's why we're reporting it today. When we report what someone said to someone else, we use quotation marks and give exact words in the same tense that came from the speaker's mouth. However, when we repeat or report that message that the original person said to someone else, we do not use quotation marks and we shift the verb tenses to the past. Let's look at that same sentence again. The main verb said is in the past tense because we're talking about a past event. And we are using the exact words that we heard. When we report that same sentence, note that it now becomes a noun clause answering the question of what Lincoln said. Lincoln said something. What did he say? The introductory word, that, is optional. We are reporting what he said in the past. Notice that the exact words Lincoln said, the world will not remember, is something that has now started in the past for us and yet continues. And the thing that the world would not remember is what was originally said back in Lincoln's day. Here's another sentence Lincoln made in that speech about the memory of the world to come. Notice that it is a quotation with the reporting verb said. In the reported speech, the cannot changes to could not and the fought changes to had fought. Both of these actions are past to us now, but still need to be shown in relationship to the time that Lincoln said the words. Cannot forget would be something that would happen after his speech, becoming could not, since it is past to us now. And the mention of the soldiers who fought happened before his speech, thus the past perfect tense. Let's look at this in terms of a quotation about a future event. The sentence from the professor, I will correct your homework tonight, is something that is being said at the moment. However, the next day, if you ask me what the professor said, in other words, wanted me to report to you about it, we would be talking about yesterday. Let's see how the verb in that original quotation will correct and the reference to tonight pan out. Remember, everything shifts to something that was now said yesterday in relationship to the report being given now. First of all, something was said yesterday. And the will correct now becomes would correct in relationship to the event of saying it. The reference to tonight is no longer true, and we need to shift that time to last night, since it is already past. Here's another case of a future reference. When this information is being reported, you have a choice of keeping the original verb of will or changing it to the past reported tense of would. Now let's look at some of the basic principles of making this shift. We must change the quoted verb to the past form. That is because we are talking about something that has happened in the past. Past tense, however, can actually mean one step back as we will see in the next few slides. 
That is why we call this a sequence of tenses. The tense shifts from the original form in the quoted speech to one step back in the past to the reported form. With the original quotation of I watch TV every day, we would report it that he watched TV every day, one step back. Am watching would become was watching. Have watched would become had watched. Watched would become had watched. Again, notice the one step back shifting. However, had watched stays the same because we are at the end of the past tense sequence in English. Will watch becomes would watch. And am going to watch becomes was going to watch. For most modals, we can shift it back to the past tense form of the modal. Can becomes could. May becomes might. Must becomes had to, since there is no past tense form of must. Have to becomes had to. For some modals, there are exceptions, meaning that there are no changes such as should, ought to, and might. There are times when we didn't quite catch what the speaker was saying and we need a friend to give us an immediate report. In these cases, we should stick to the same verb tense that the speaker used. In this case, the professor probably said, I want you to submit your outlines tomorrow. So our classmate repeats to us that he, the professor, wants us to submit them tomorrow. When the time between the actual quote and the report becomes longer, it is here that we would shift the sequence to the past tense. There are times when someone is talking about a general truth, and in these cases we do not shift the tense. In other words, it is always true. Sometimes the reporting verb, or the verb that is used prior to the quotation, is in another tense other than the typical past tense, such as he said, she said. When someone uses the present tense, meaning that this person says it all the time, we keep the original verb tense in the reported speech. This is also true with the present perfect tense because it was said in the past and continues to be true. And in the future, it happens as well. An imperative sentence is a little bit trickier because it is a command to do something, requiring an infinitive for the reported verb form. Here, write becomes to write. Finally, here's a chart to help you visually with the shifting of verb tense when reporting information. When the main reporting verb is in the past tense, such as, the mother said, children watch too much TV. We shift the verb in the reported speech, watch, to watched. If the verb is some form of the present progressive, be watching, it shifts to was watching. A present perfect tense in the main clause shifts one place back to past perfect. One exception would be if the main verb in that clause is past tense. It would shift to the past perfect tense we would not use the present perfect tense, mainly because it includes the meaning of something happening that is related to or includes the meaning of the present. If the main verb in the reported clause is past perfect, it remains the same as there is no other shift backwards from that point. When we talk about the future tense in the reported clause, we are really talking about a modal with present tense, will. Will then shifts back to the past tense form of will or would. 
The future can also be expressed in the reported clause as be going to, which will then be shifted back to was going to or were going to, depending on the subject of the verb. Thank you for watching.